praise the Lord. There was something about resistance in the kingdom of God. The Bible says that since the time of John, until now, the kingdom of heaven has been facing violence, and the violent take it by force. I have noticed that uh, there is need for application of force and endurance for some things to break off. Child of God, nothing is going to be given to you on a silver platter. The enemy fights each and every second to pull you down. It is his wish actually that he could even kill you in your sleep. But the word that is hidden within you the Bible says that hide that I've hidden the word of the Lord in my heart that I may not sin against you. I think that was David. The word that you've hidden in your heart should be the force to drive you to win. This kingdom is all about resistance, man. The violent take it by force. The violent take it by force, man. Mm, mm. That is why you see demons resisting, even doing deliverance. And it is those who are strong enough, strong enough to endure and break the barrier that will defeat them. You have to have a certain level of strength and endurance. Sometimes I always wonder why the Lord allows some things to delay. You're believing for something that you're sure is supposed to work out for you as a child of God. But then there was so much resistance. And I've noticed that it is only the babes that give up. <coughs> if you're not a spiritual babe, know that you've graduated to the level of bonds of hard meat and you're supposed to endure and know that your god is gonna come through for you let it be any problem take your focus away from the problem know that there is a big god inside of you the enemy wants to bombard you with fear to magnify to make big your problem but Always remember this, that we serve a God that is bigger than any problem. A God that is bigger than any sickness, child of God. You understand? So never fear, never fret. Never fret. Because the more when you start fearing, you start losing. You start losing. And child of God, I want you to apply this same wisdom even in the business and in everything that you do, that if you are very confident of your God and that the Holy Spirit is with you, when you make a choice and a decision, let's say in business you've made a decision not to make a loss. There are so many factors that are going to scare you to give in. I mean, you're going to be broke at some point. And you have a product that you bought a certain price. And definitely when you sell it, when you are broke, it's going to lose value. But when you are confident that there is a God who is in charge of the universe. And like the Bible says that the hearts of men are in the hands of God. We all know that God created everything, including man. And therefore God knows your need and your desire. And therefore, he knows that product that you have and he knows that you have a need. But he also trusts you to have the faith that as a child of God, you're not supposed to make a loss. So stand by your ground. Let's say if you set a price, stand by your ground. And if you say, I want 23 million in this product. I mean, I bought it 20 million. 
yes according to the mindsets of people they believe something is supposed to lose value but as a child of god i believe that god is gonna send me a client who is gonna give me money that is worth it that is even more i've made a decision as a child of god i'm not gonna make a loss i mean that's past i'm in a season where i do not allow losses if i'm to sell i have to sell bigger i have to make profits so regardless of what I'm going through, regardless of, 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 of the economy, man, I made up my mind that I'm going to make profits. So I always tell myself that, yes, I'm confident that the God that has called me and matured me to this level is capable of taking care of me. I know the scripture is alive, for it says he takes care of the birds and, and the lilies of the field and the flowers of the field so how much more will he take care of me he knows my need and he will send me the right client who will buy this product that i have at a bigger price and 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 still goes back to endurance the kingdom of heaven is not for the weak it is for those who endure that the more you endure the more you break a barrier when the devil tests you and brings fear and sees that you're not moving, that you're still standing, he will give up. And that is the breaking point where your miracle comes to you, where you endure up to a certain level and the enemy has no choice but to give up and let you win. Yes, yes. I gave you an example of deliverance where you resist and you, you persist and then the enemy has no choice but to flee. There was also another example of uh, the enemy is stubborn. He has habits of attacking people when they're asleep. I mean, like somebody is sleeping and you, you're fighting with a certain spirit and it's holding you, man, and you call all these things and it's not giving up. You mean it's, it, it, he desires to strangle you, but you call on the name of Jesus and you say it's not by mind, not by power. And you resist and you resist and you fight. But within your heart, you should know that it is always gimmicks. At the end of the day, you're going to win. There is a reason why there is a delay. Remember, a delay is not a denial. A delay is not a denial. Our end is sure, child of God. So hang on, hang on. Regardless of what you're going through, hang on. Stand by your vision. Write your vision on a stone tablet in a book. Believe God that it's going to come to pass. Believe God. When he gives you something, regardless of whether it's bigger, delight in it and, and yearn to have it succeed. Believe that it's going to be successful. For the Lord delights in us when we stretch our faith, when we believe for bigger things. Man, when you believe for bigger things, nothing is impossible. I've seen him work. I've seen him work. Child of God, there are things that you're not going to afford. There are things that you're not going to make according to the world system. The world system is slow. Child of God is going to take a miracle of some things to happen. And for them to happen, you have to have the faith. You have to have the faith each and every month. You have to know that I'm going to have this each and every year you have to make resolutions and believe God for them to pass. Be tough. The world is tough. Endure. No nonsense. Pray to God. Believe. Believe that he hears you. Believe that he knows your needs. And he has a timeline. Man, he has a timeline. He has a timeline. Your path has already been set out. Our job is to pray and wait on him. But still, pray that he gives you revelation, that you know why some things are delaying. And may you never give up, child of God. May you never give up. One thing that I hate, like, like, like the president said, that let that be the word that you tell the enemy, that you cannot scare me or intimidate me. I'm a child of God. I'm born to win. I can never lose. I can never lose. Winning is the only life I know. God bless you, child of God. May you endure and win. I'll see you on the other side of winning. I'll see you.
across. Be blessed.